Hang on. Okay. <sighs> Two ladies drove on drive. This is an emergency. A guy that's on parole is over here beating the heart, so he tried to stab me. He tried to stab hold us. Hold I need you to slow down. 280 Zircon Drive. 280-280 Zircon Drive. Okay. 280 Zircon Drive. I got it. Okay. What's going on? And I need you to slow down. He's a guy that's on parole. He's been seeing the girl that lives here. He came barging and kicked the front door in the night. He beat us both up real bad. He tried to stab me. He's trying to stab her. He's going out of the porch right now. She has little kids here. <laughs> okay, has anybody been stabbed? No, but he beat us over. Okay. <laughs> what, is, what is your name? <laughs> okay, are you there, sir? Are you alright, Kenny? Yeah, okay, are you okay? No. Do you hear me that? Sir? I hear you about the Hello, I'm sir. Hello. 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 I told her it was not happen. This is not happening. Hello. Wash one tell seven five seven six twenty three. One tell seven five. Wash one is Wash one green is closed. Three is one third one. Wash one green is closed. Where's that? They're gone. Where? I don't know. Who is it? I don't know. You have no idea who it is? Can you take your hand out of your pocket for me? Come on over here. Who else is inside the house? Uh, uh, Ethan and... Who's Ethan? Ethan, he lives down the street. Okay. Who was the one that had the knife? That was somebody else. Some guy that do you know who it is? I don't. Who else is inside the house the besides kids. Ethan? Your kids. Okay. What's your name? Cindy. Cindy what? Roberts. Roberts? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does anyone... On foot? They're chasing dogs. Who's chasing dogs? Cute. Kay's chasing... Kay's chasing the dog. So who, who is the guy that came in here? I don't know who he is. Who knows him? Who knows him? Kaza. Where's Kaza? She's looking for the dog. Is she with him? No. Okay. He's gone now. So Why did Kaza leave? Because she had better dogs. Did they run out of the house? Yeah. So Ethan's in the house? Ethan's in the house. How old's Ethan? He's 57. 57? And then the, how old are the kids inside the house? Uh, 10 and 8. 10 and 8. Has anyone been hurt? No one's been hurt. No. Who, who, whose car is this right here? I don't recognize. Is that Kaza's? No. She don't have a car. Hey, let's go in and just check the house real quick. Kio. No. Let's, uh, let's wait for one more. Okay. Doggo one. Wash one, tile seven five. Our suspect is GOA. RP is outside advising no one in the house is hurt. We're going to wait for one additional unit to come before we go and clear the residence. Have them stand by for a few. Are you Kaza? Yep. Okay, who was here? No, I went to go get my fucking hey, dog. Hey, come over I, here. I, no, I just tried to pull up and you want to blind me. I, I didn't call you. Come over here. Uh, RP is uncooperative at this time. We don't know if we have a crime or not. No one seems to know anything. It's okay. If he comes back, I'll call you, though. Okay, so who actually got 
So who got assaulted? Can we figure that out? He just came in. He didn't really assault, but we were. He grabbed her and went on and the And who's her? Hi, how are you? What's your name? Ethan. Ethan? You got any weapons on you, Ethan? Okay, don't All reach right, for it. Let's put that on the ground. What happened to you? That guy beat me up so bad, beat her up so bad. Who, who is it? His name's Derek or something. Okay, where is Derek? Does he live around here? No. He, he kicked in the front door and he came in and he started beating on her. I tried to win and help her. So he kicked in your front door? He did. Did he have a knife? Yeah, he had a knife. He tried to stab me with a knife. He tried Let to stab us both. I tried to he keep him off of her. And she was trying to, and he was, he was strong. He's a young guy. He was like, he just got a joint here. And he's on the girl poster. And he tried, to, he tried to kill us, man. He was like, kill one of us. Did he leave? Did he leave on foot or in a vehicle? He has a blue car. Okay, what is it? What kind of car? I'm not sure. Two doors, four doors? Two, I think. Tinted windows, non-tinted windows? I'm not sure. Nevada Luke. license plate, California license Nevada. plate? Yeah. Nevada. <coughs> what numbers they can have on them, possibly? Hey, from the RP that you're hearing on the phone is the one who's uncooperative and doesn't want us to be here. Um, it looks like we do have a victim of a battery so a that did come out of the house, and that's probably who she was talking to. Closest unit to Zircon advise. I gave you fifty dollars. Okay. It's Sam nine two, you can continue code. I think everyone else no, can probably we're, we're shut past it down. That now. Like, this, is, this is an actual crime now. Okay. So, no, it's not. Well, it is because he's battered. Now. He's bleeding. Okay. He just claimed that he got assaulted by a knife. That's a crime, ma'am. That's a felony. He said he had the knife in his hand. He never opened it. I tried okay. to hold it from him, and she was trying to stop him. She was trying to stop him. Okay. How do, how, do how do we how do we know Derek? Who uh, knows him, and from how? He's a guy that is a boy that showed us. Uh, uh, Kaza knows that she starts seeing him and stuff, and he's got a really bad temper. How is Kaza related to Kaza you guys? Out. That's her daughter. That her daughter. And are you dating her or no, no, I'm your friends? I rent the room here. Okay, so Kaz is your daughter. How does Kaza know Derek? I don't know. She just met him and she's just dating him. So why she is currently dating him? She was dating him. Okay, so why would he come here and try and beat everyone up? I'm not because sure. Because Kaza got went to jail the other night and he bailed her out and he had no money. Well I said come to me and I'll get you some. What's Derek's last name? I don't know. I have no idea. I, guess, I, I was just in the other room. He attacked me. her. I was trying to get him off of her, and he beat me. He beat me pretty hard. So he beat up her and, then and you. Yeah. Did he touch you? No. Okay. And whose he kids are in the Kaza house? Kaza's. Kaza's kids. Yeah. Okay. Okay. When my partners get here, we are going to go inside, oh. and we're going to make sure that everyone's okay, and then we are going to get him out, or we're going to, you know, we're going to get Kaza out here, and we're going to talk to her. We well, don't need the sheriffs. Well, no, you do need the sheriffs. That's that's the problem. Everyone acts like there wasn't anything that took place. You're the one who's bleeding. Let me see the side of your face. You got me hit me in the top of my head a whole bunch of times. I already told him. How'd that happen on your arm? Where? On this elbow. I'm not sure. I'm sure he was, I was trying to hold him back. He had a knife in his hand. He was trying to open it. She had his... What did the knife look like? Is it a pocket knife? Like a, a, pocket, a steak knife? Okay, how? Yeah, I'll work knife so you work. When it's expanded, how long would you say it was? Okay. I can't afford it to be like that, man. I know. Um, do you want to leave uh, Ryan out here with them. Actually, we'll take one more with us. Or we'll take you and. Yeah. Just so. Long story short, nobody knows anything. Um, mom, her daughter's inside. She's the one who's being super uncooperative. Um, her boyfriend or ex boyfriend came over, beat him up, beat her up. She got mad that we were even here. She stormed back into the house, wouldn't come out. Come, wouldn't come out to us. So, we're going to go in, check on everyone in the house, but because he left, we wanted to stay with them and make sure that they're okay. Um, would you mind just standing by with them, the three of us are going to go inside, check on everyone in the house. Apparently suspect left in a blue car, but nobody really knows anything. So, the daughter who's inside is the ex-girlfriend of dude who came and did the battering, but 
she's being super uncooperative. She's in the car. The dogs are in the car. So we're going to go in and clear if you want to hang out with them. Ma'am, what's your name? Cindy. Cindy. Would you mind hanging out out here until we can go in and check out on everyone? Well. Sheriff's office. Because we need to make sure that he's not here. Okay, well I'm gonna have you step outside for the I'll time being. Right here. Why are you being so difficult? Because I'm not gonna leave my house. I'm asking you to stand on the porch. I don't know why it's that difficult. I don't know why we didn't call you. So well, you did. That's why we're here. She didn't do nothing. That's why we're here. And the guy that beat up on us is not here, so why are you gonna be rude? I didn't call you. We have to figure. So out. don't talk to my mom like that in her house. What would we do? No, you're not going to talk to my mom disrespectfully when we didn't call you. Okay. Somebody did call us? Yeah, and so he's out there. And said that someone was Okay, and he's gone. And the one that called you is out there, and the one that did it is gone. I'll tell you his name. I don't know where he went. I'll tell you what he drives. That's all I got. I got marks on me, and you're going to come in here and talk shit to me? No, like, we got me. He pulled a knife on me, but I, we are getting disrespected. That's fucking crazy. No, we're trying to figure out what's no, going on right now. No, disrespectful talking to my mom. Act like you have the right. When, Art, how so do you? We're trying to figure out what is actually going on, and it's not making any sense. So do, do you want our help or no? Because oh, now know. we're here. Well, if you're going to talk rude, no. I'm trying I'm to figure out what's going on. I'm not disrespecting when I didn't do nothing. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm trying to figure out what's going on because last I heard there was a guy here with a knife and who was attacking you not, guys. He's gone. Okay, well, how do we know that? I don't know. Well, maybe don't be disrespectful and I would have talked okay. to you no problem. Okay, are you going to press charges against him? No. Okay, perfect. So go to the one that will press charges against him. He's outside to call you. Perfect. You got to stay in here then. That's fine. I, did, I am in here. I didn't come out there, remember? Let me see the back of your head, dude. Okay, what about the cut on your arm? Is that from Homeboy 2 or what? Yeah, it's from him throwing me around and stuff. And all the stuff in the room is getting broken and stuff. Okay. He's a strong little guy, man. So he had a knife in his hand and he came at you with it? Yeah. He Were was. you fearing for your life? Oh, yeah. All right, perfect. That's our other battered RP that is refusing to be cooperative with us. She did. All right. Sir, would you be willing to do a statement? A written statement? I, I mean, I, 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 I don't have fun with it. I don't know if I'll, I'll get in trouble for them or not. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. I just don't want him around me no more. He's trying to kill me, man. All right. Well, would you be willing to, to sit down and do a statement for me? Yeah. All right, man. Give me one second. So go to the one that has <laughs> charges against him. He's outside. He called you. Perfect. You got to stay in here, then. That's fine. I did. I am in here. I didn't come out there, remember? Yo. <laughs> Act like you where? Me something I already telling you. Okay, so where are the kids at? In the room. Can I just check on them? Go ahead, Because I need... Hi. Hi. You okay? Yeah. Were you guys, did you see anything that happened? I was in the bathroom. Okay, what about you, buddy? I was in the closet. Okay, were you scared? Okay. Where did this incident take place? My room. Okay, and they were, and the kids were in there? The ki what? And the kids were in there? The kids, and he was, in, she was in the bathroom. He was. He was. The boy was, yeah, and that's when he went to the closet. Okay, so listen, I know that... I get we started off on the wrong foot, but my concern is that someone was here physically battering someone else, and this little guy had to watch it. Yeah, I feel that's, the same way. That's not, I feel the same way. That's not fair to him. It's not. And it's not fair to anyone that anyone would come in and do that. I no, know. it's not. So all we're asking for is a little bit of cooperation. At this point, we know that there was a knife. 
we know that there was, you know, physically, somebody getting physically attacked, mm -hmm. if not two people, because I do see the marks on you. So all we're asking is that you cooperate with us, you provide us some statements, and then we can take care of the rest. Okay? I'm sorry if you felt that we were rude, but ultimately you have to understand from our perspective, what we get sent to, we think that someone's been stabbed here. So that's concerning, right? right. So dramatic. But you know, we only know so much, know. you know. I we know. get told over the radio, so well, I'm glad you guys are smart quickly though. Yeah, we're right down the road. What kind of vehicle does he drive? A Kia so it's black. It's like a 2017 Kia Sorento. What is it like? Sorrento? No, 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 no. It's like a four door and it's kind of like egg, almost shaped. You know what I mean? Like it's a little small. sedan? Uh, yeah, I think so. Just like a car, right? Yeah. Okay. Anything, it's black. Anything standing out on it, like big rims? No. Dark and what's his uh, What's his last has, name? No, he has just the dark tint in the back, and it, he just got the plates too, so I don't know. Are they Nevada plates, California yeah, plates? Nevada what's his last name? Kirk, K-I-R-K. And his first name's Derek? Yeah. Okay. All right, can I grab you guys some witness statements? Sure. Is that okay? And then can I also get um, an ID for you and, and maybe for mom as well? I don't have that. That's okay. We can get some information. Okay. Would you mind grabbing that? Something left in a black Kia hatchback car, dark tint. Um, it's got black plates on it. Yes, sir. I'm going to get I'm gonna get a statement for you to fill out, okay? Oh, okay. Are you good for a second, Ryan? I'm going to grab that stuff, okay? Walsh at 1075, we're code 4. You can have the channel and send a medical, please. Is she going to be on cooperative still? She'd calm down. She's more so angry that she's got marks, and we also have child abuse because... Um, one of the kids was hiding in the closet while he was battering. So she's got marks. Okay. So we have Dombat. Well, ADW. Yeah, yeah times two. It's times two. Dombat. Yep. Regu and regular and battery. You probably do the, uh, the Berg. <clears throat> Regu it kicked in the door. Yeah, regular so, battery, Berg, yeah. and child endangerment so slash abuse. No, the, the suspect is not working. Yeah, I, I just got her to like calm down and be cooperative because when we walked in there, that's why I waited because nobody had been confirmed injured in the house, but we also didn't know if he was coming back. And everyone is like uncooperative to the point where like if I ask you to stand here, they'll say why I'm not going to stand there. So other female half is drunk as shit. Yeah, she's hammered. So we're trying to. Just the three adults and one kid. No, there's there's three adults and then two kids that are like elementary age. The one of the girls was the girl was in the bathroom. The boy was hiding in the closet because it took place in mom's room. So we have multiple charges. We can probably articulate that, like you said, the Berg or the home invasion. Can you pop really? Car? I'm gonna grab a statement. Yeah, I'm. I think everyone needs one. So I was just about to grab them. Well, at the time, he was the only one. That was <coughs> He was, well, yeah, no, you're right. He was the only one that, I'm getting them all right now. Uh, um, yeah, I do need some, some clipboards. Um, if you will meet with uh, Karlowitz and just see about getting uh, everyone's information to put them in while we kind of sort out the entire story. Yeah, she's she's better now. I totally kind of, I know, I apologize. I'm like, hey, I'm sorry if you felt like we were coming off rude, but understand what we were being sent right. to is this. And she's like, no, I get it. I'm upset that you guys had to come, but so. Yeah. But when we first get here, we're like, uh, where is everyone? So, and obviously, without, as soon as she walks out, she's like, he's gone. He left. So that's why we kind of hung out for a second. Because we didn't know if he was coming back or if he was on foot. Cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, so we need. Well, it's like a four door and it's kind of like egg almost shaped, you know what I mean? Like a sedan? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's like a car, right? Yeah. Okay. Anything, that's, anything standing out on it, like big rims, super no. dark tint, loud exhaust? He, says he has no, he has just a dark tint in the back. and it, 
He just got the plates too, so I don't know. Are they Nevada plates? California yeah. plates? Nevada What's plates. his last name? Kirk, K I R K. And his first name's Derek? Yeah. Okay. Alright, can I grab you guys some witness statements? Sure. Is that okay? <laughs> and then can I also get um, an ID? For you and Can I have five, seven, nine, two? Well. I don't have my order. Okay, you can get some information. Okay. Subject left in a black Kia, mm -hmm. like hatchback car, dark tint, uh, Nevada plates unknown at this time. Yes, sir. I'm going to give a statement for you. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's your name? Kensley Kohler. Hmm? Kensley Kohler? Kensley. K-E-T-Z. 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 K-E-T-
No, no, this is this is the red and black one that like shoots you straight down and then oh, uh, it gives you a massive wedgie. When I went with my Andy, um, somebody went down and she's like, "I'm not going down there." We got medical yeah. here to check you out in case I would like medical just to take a look at you as well, okay? Mm -hmm. What's your name, sir? How tall are you? Ethan. Do you have ID? What? How tall are you? So like four two ish. Can you ride the Viper? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. You if not, you can just kind of talk through what that was. Sir? I'm not going down We got medical here to check you out in case I would like medical just to take a look at you as well, okay? What's your name, sir? Ethan. Ethan. Do you have ID? Did my partners get that from you already? Okay. Um, would you be able to fill out a witness statement? Okay. You, if not, you can just kind of talk me through what happened. Where were you when, when it took place? In your room? Room next to Kaza's? Okay. And then what did you hear basically start? I just heard a bunch of boys and he came in there yesterday and he was hitting on her and stuff and I tried to stop him and, and uh, he turned around and started pounding on me and he got me pretty good. He got me in the head like 20 times in the back of the head. Okay. Is it okay if I take pictures of that stuff? Okay. I'm going to have these guys check you out though. Make sure that you're okay and you don't need any extra medical attention. Okay? That's key. You're able to get information from her. Things were not going well in the beginning with her. <laughs> I figured it'd probably be easier to catch these, these bees with honey. Yeah. I'm going to give this to you, okay? If you could just put your information up here at the top. Don't worry about this vehicle stuff. Don't worry about this one. This doesn't apply. And just kind of give me a good detailed description of what happened. Okay. Um, obviously, Ethan said he came in. Um, he doesn't live here, right? No. Okay. Is he welcome here? Was he ever um, welcomed here? Well, he was, and then he, wants to, he wanted to get mad and then, I don't know, come back and attack him. Before. Right. When was the last time he was here uh, before today? Um, a couple hours prior to when he came here, just walked in uh, attacking people. So he did it twice tonight? Well, yeah, before he was here, and it was he just left mad and nothing said, and then when he came back, he came right back in the fighting room. Okay. He just came into the room all crazy. Did he, did he like, open the door? Did he... Oh, yeah, he came in, because we were in my room, and okay. he came in, came into the room, and came up into my face, and then... Pushed me into the uh, dresser, and then uh, when I was fighting it back, Ethan heard it, came out of his room and tried to stop him. Okay. So on and so forth. And what's your name, sweetie? Kitsicoli. What is it? Kitsicoli. Okay. And you were in the bathroom? Yes. Okay. Okay. But you kind of heard some of it going, going on? Okay. And then I guess, so the dogs got out when he left? Is that what happened? Or yeah. when he got here? Yeah. No, when he was leaving because uh, the door was open and I was making him leave. Okay. And that's when they got out. Okay. So, as far as injuries go to you, I see this red mark on the side of your face. Um, it looks like we got some scratches here and here. Okay. There's a tiny abrasion up here, and it looks maybe some possible swelling over here. Okay. I'm sure I'm kind of Does that hurt at all? Yeah. It feels like maybe scratched or something like the eye, maybe your, you know, like it's got a real tiny abrasion right over there. Okay. Um, how did how did that stuff happen to your neck? Uh, he grabbed me by my throat. Okay. What what was going through your head at the time? Uh, kick him in his face. Well, how did how did you feel? Was he like was he scratching at your throat or was he like? No, he was choking me. I couldn't I couldn't talk. He was choking me. Okay, you couldn't breathe. No, not no. It was like more like I could, but I couldn't. You know, like yeah. Not really. Like when you're trying to get that breath, but it's not a breath. I don't know. Yeah. But he was just uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I still need to get out of here because the boy was in there. He was being inconsiderate. Yeah. Um, how how long have you guys? You're not currently in a relationship, correct? Or are you? Are, no. Okay. Uh, how long were you in a relationship? Um, 
since, no, I've known him, like, uh, since August. Okay. So kind of, like, uh, September, off and on a couple times, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was, uh, and I'm sorry if this is a personal question, but was the relationship sexual? Uh, yeah. It was? Okay. That just helps me kind of determine if you guys were in a relationship at one point, if you weren't. Okay. Um, is in because I don't know who he is. Is he white guy, black guy, Hispanic he's guy? White, he's white. Okay. How tall would you say he is? Uh, a couple inches taller than me. I'm okay. Five three. Okay. He's not very big. Okay. Wears glasses, which they kind of broke in the middle of it. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's like twenty nine. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, I'll get back with you in a minute if you want to fill that out or answer any other questions that the medical staff have for you. Okay. K A Z A. K A Z A. K A Z A. Is his last name. And your last name? K A Y. What's his first name? Derek. I'm not sure how to spell. Yeah, your date of birth. Eleven one nine ninety six. Yeah, about twenty nine. Is it eleven? And just clarify, you don't want to. I don't think so. Anything? Well, it's kind of. No, it looks like just stuff fell. Disheveled. I mean, yeah, so I took pictures of that. He's not missing any nails or anything, right? And there's uh, nail stuff, but I think there's like yeah. a bunch of them. I think it was like in a kit, yeah. So, and then could and you I just took a picture of the closet, and I took a picture of the bathroom. She was in the bathroom. Okay. Closet. If you could just get pictures of her and then him, yeah. I'm going to try to look him up so I can get a, maybe a web mug and confirm his identity with her. I'm going to try to pull a picture of him. Do you have maybe a, a more recent photo of him? Same guy. Um, where is he? Uh, where is he living at right now? If he's not living here. Um, the Aloha. The Aloha Inn, mm -hmm. over in Sparks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so just back to what we were talking about earlier. Was was he welcome to kind of come come and go here before tonight? Uh, yes. Okay. So before, but then um, he uh, I don't know. He just mad He got mad and wanted to be all crazy and come in here, but. Yeah. Okay. Are you all done with that? I think so. I'll just read it real quick. Yeah, I don't know. Just something. Is, something. is that the pocket knife that's yeah. on there? That's the one he was I using? I touched him on the shoulder and he handed it to me. Because he pulled okay. that out uh, by the door. Because obviously he was scared of me or something. Would you uh, just do me a favor and just put the date, time, and signature? 28th. Um, today is the 28th, yep. and you can put um, 10 p.m., and then the very bottom line you can just sign. Bonds, like James Bond. You know, like bail bonds. I was trying to go with something like... <laughs> More positive. More positive, yeah. 007. And then your birthday was 011264. Oh, do you want to get a phone number? And do you have a, a current phone number for him so we can try and call him and, and square this out? Okay. You said 775? Yeah. And you got uh, the kids' stuff too? Mm -hmm. Um, how long has he been living at the Aloha? Uh, like a year. Okay. Right. Ethan, you doing okay? Yeah. As good as you can be, right? Yeah. Bag of green beans coming in. <laughs> Pretty helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, if you get granted a TPO, um, someone has to serve him with it and tell him, tell him that he's not welcome to come back here. If he does come back here while that TPO is active, he will automatically be arrested. No, no ifs, ands, or buts. Okay. All right. So, feel free to read that over. Um, there's some different resources on there that you can that you can get a hold of if you need them. Um, and then, uh, if you have any questions, you can call an emergency dispatch, and one of the deputies that came out tonight can call you back mm -hmm. and answer any questions you have. Okay. Okay.
Hello? Hello? You never defended yourself, Derek. I told you to leave the whole fucking time. The whole fucking time you were there, I told you to fucking leave my house. Otherwise, Derek, I would have broke your nose. I would have broke your face. I choked you out at some point, and everything else was restraining you. Mom told you to leave. I told you to leave. I told you not to I didn't do shit for you to come there. You said, I don't give a fuck if your kids are there. I'm coming there to cause a scene. Did you not? Even though all I said to you was, Derek, I don't have money now, and you know it. Derek, I'll pay you when I get paid next week. Derek, knock it off. I have no one to call. I don't have money. I'll pay you in a week. Right, you didn't quit. You said you didn't give a fuck. My kids were there. You were coming anyway. Stop lying about shit, Derek. No, no, you think I'm lying about everything? I, I'm not. Uh, okay, so you are you are telling the truth that that I was I was threatening you and I well like saying all those things to you that I was going to cause a scene. But what I meant by cause a scene was like argue with you. I did not mean to hurt you. I that's not it was not intentional at all, at all. So then when I kept telling you to leave and you chose not to leave because I was mad. At, I was mad. I was Derek? just I was just mad. I was arguing, Derek, but I was not there to hurt you. Saying you defended yourself is a lie. I there, you did have a broken nothing on your face. If I was fighting you, Derek. You would have been fucked up. You're not understanding me. I did not fight you. I restrained you the whole fucking time. Your tongue being almost bitten off because I put you in the choker hole because you wanted to fucking leave. I was trying to tell you to knock it off to leave. You don't understand that. You can lie all you want. Ask any man that I've ever been with when I was a piece of shit and beat on him. Your face, that's not no. If you know, no. If anybody did I hit you? Know, anybody knows. Did I, did I hit you? Well, did you That's not? That's the point, dude. But did you I'm not? I'm going to tell you right now, as somebody that dealt with cases for 14 years, do yourself a favor. When you get that position, get the fuck out of there. Walk the fuck away. Be a man and shut your fucking trap. Don't ever say anything. But if he defended himself, if I was attacking him, congratulations. If I attacked him, what would happen? No, but I, if I attacked him, you lie in every situation that is impossible for you to have to send yourself in any fucking position with Kayla. Sorry. But he didn't defend himself because if he was not, if I was telling him to leave and not fighting him, I would have fucking hit him in the face. Would I not have punched him in the face? And he would have known. I didn't uh, do that. You wouldn't have woken up in the morning if she actually wanted you to. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's what I'm saying. He wants to act like he defended himself. That's a fucking lie. All I said to you the whole time was leave. Stop. I was holding you. Choke hold. Whatever the fuck it was. I never punched you. I never attacked you like that. Right. Ethan only jumped in because you fucking were on me. How about this, all right? Here's this for a situation. Derek, do me a favor. I'm sorry, I don't even know who's talking right now. This is Lance. L L Lance, nice Lance, Lance to meet you. Legally. I, 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 I met you before, and she, she talked a lot of shit about you, but I, I thought okay, that you were a nice guy. Don't speak over me. I thought you were Derek, a nice guy. Don't speak over me. Go ahead, you go ahead. You have sent me messages, and you know who the fuck I am. Do me a favor, don't speak over me. Go ahead. You know who the fuck I am, right? I, I know who you are now. Yeah, I am Kesley and King's father, Kayla's husband of 14 years, who has known her more than anybody else ever will. Don't speak over me about anything with her. And I will fucking take care of everything you need to. Like, literally, if you got a problem with her, you got a problem with me, because that is my mother's children. This is my wife. Legally, as it sits, literally, I will bury you in my fucking front yard, and there ain't nothing this state will ever fucking say about it. Now calling RCP 2023-000093, Derek Kirk versus Lance Kohler. For the Outers Party, state his name for the record. Lance Arthur Kohler, Jr. Good afternoon, Mr. Kohler. You haven't seen Mr. Kirk anywhere in the courthouse, or? Not that I, I'm not paying attention, honestly. Um, it's one of these things where I never made the phone call. He was calling and harassing my 11-year-old daughter okay. when I answered the phone after the five or six no call or no answers. The phone belongs to, and she's legally still my wife. We've been separated for eight years. We've been married for nine. He was her boyfriend at the time a year ago. He assaulted her, assaulted her mother. My kids were hiding in closets and underneath beds calling the sheriff's department. He spent a year in jail over the situation, not only for the domestic violence behalf, but also a violation of his parole orders. <coughs> when he got out two months ago, he started issuing temporary restraining orders against anybody and everybody that has anything to do he with He doesn't issue them, the court issues them. He applied for them. 
I didn't know he was going to literally push harassment legally this way. Because legally by doing this, what he is now doing is he has legal rights to now harass my current wife and children. Well, if you'd like, I can set this for another hearing and order him to be here. Yeah, that would be great. Ms. Clark, let's set it for a merit hearing and yes, tell him sir. I'm ordering him to be here. Yes, sir. Maybe we can put a stop to it. I would like to hear his behalf as to what it is that I... Because he filed have. this basically under oath, in my, as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, I can tell you right now, the address he has listed is his residence. The owner of the house right. is my wife's father, who right. is also a... All right, you're going to have to come back, too. That's fine. We're going to set it for I've me. been here since 8 o'clock this morning. On this case? Yeah, well, different cases. Side on behalf of my girlfriend or my ex-wife's okay. new boyfriend that she's been with, who he pressed charges against. All right, him. because if these are illegal and false, then I want them stopped. So, well, that's let's well, do a merit hearing. We'll, he we'll change this to a merit hearing. To point where that temporary protection. Emotional damage right now. That temporary protection order is dissolved, and you can tear it up or do whatever you want with it. It's no longer in effect as of this hearing, and I will go ahead and issue what's called a merit hearing. I mean, there's no protection order in place. He's to Come in. We're going to order him to come in under a contempt of court bench warrant if he like doesn't to appear. I reverse it and get a restraining order against him for my You're, children. I'm not here for that, sir. I, I you can do what you want if you want to well, apply that, for that. That's, fine. that's not I'm what sorry. a protection sorry. order is for. Protection order is not against that type of harassment. It's when there's some type of violence and the court needs to step in he to keep a breach of the peace. You can look at his record. One of his last cases was. Sir, a stop talking, please. I'm kids. trying to. I'm trying to calm down. Sorry. You just won't let me talk. I let you talk. You went on and on and on, even though he's not even here. And it was you're going to win by default anyway. But every time I get three words out, you want to interrupt me, just like you just tried to again. Just stop talking, all right? Sorry. I'm going to set it for a merit hearing. We'll go ahead, and he'll have to, by order of the court, be present to show why there's merit and how there's merit to these claims, because these are pretty serious claims. I agree with you on that. And if he can't do so, I'll tell him that he's not going to have the access to the courts anymore. We might have him declared a vexatious litigant. You, though, only you can take action if you want to get a temporary protection order, if you think it, you qualify for that, or if you want to sue him or go after him for any defamation of character or um, malicious prosecution. But I can't do that. All I can do is say I deny him the temporary protection order and declare him a vexatious litigant where he can't apply for any more temporary protection orders against you. That's all I'll probably have the grounds to do um, at this hearing. How far out would we have to set that? So we, do we have, we don't have to get them served. We just have to notify them. So yes. we can do it next week. Okay. Yeah. We'll do it next Thursday, the 6th at one thirty. You got that? I will be here. All right. So you're ordered to be here. We'll get him ordered to be here. The clerk will take care of that. One thirty next week. I look forward to seeing you then. Okay. Thank you, sir. Do I need anything from you guys? Not a bit, I don't no, think. I as long as you know the date and time. Uh, I just do we have do we have your email? Uh, no, oh, we do not. There's a form right downstairs on the first floor. Since you were here in court, we can fill it out for you to show you when you were in court. Okay. That way you can provide that to your boss. Okay, so just let them know downstairs. Yep, that on that first okay. floor of the civil division. Thank you very much. Thank you, you sir. Thank you, you too. Now calling RCP 2023-000093, Derek Kirk versus Lance Kohler Jr. Would the applicant state his name for the record? Derek Kirk. Would the address party state his name? Lance Arthur Kohler Jr. Thank you. One moment. I have two calendars for stalking and harassment. I'm on the right one. Okay. Okay. Now, Mr. Cole, you were here last time, right? Correct, sir. Mr. Kirk, you were not, right? That's correct. And Ms. Clerk, you might want to double check and see if he checked the box that he's requesting an extended protection order, Mr. Kirk. Mr. Kirk, you didn't appear last time. That was what I believed your request that you wanted an extended protection order. Ms. Clerk's going to double check it and see that you checked that box. If you check that box and you don't show up, that sends red flags up to me. Because you requested an extended protection order and then you didn't even show up. I also don't understand your exhibits that you've submitted, but we'll go over that in a minute. I just, you have to put them in context for me. I don't know what they mean. Um, Mr. Kohler showed up and he told me that you have a tendency to do this to him and, and or other people and that your claims are false. So today, the tide has turned. The, the, foot, the shoe's on the other foot today. It's your burden. He doesn't have to show me anything today. You've already lost your extended protection order when you didn't show up last month. He won by default. But now he brought up another issue then. That's why I called you both into court today. How do you prove to me that any of your claims are true? You didn't bring in the son, right? Was it a nine-year-old son that was in the car? No, that's not my child. It's my child. 
might do that, but you didn't bring it. I don't care whose child it is. He's not here. You can subpoena any witness you want, even a child. So the child's not here. So do you have any other witnesses to anything you claimed in your, in your application? Yes, that's the exhibits that I filed. And there is a reason why I didn't show up. Go ahead. Um, he has not been served. Well, come to find out, uh, as of yesterday, I found out he was served. But Lyon County does it a little bit differently than Washoe County does. Washoe County, my experience is that they file an affidavit in the court. I was here on the 29th for two separate matters, and I asked the clerk downstairs, and she said that, uh, no, he has not been served. So then I contacted Lyon County, and they said, yes, they did. However, they do it differently. I'm supposed to go out there to Urington and pick it up and then bring it back down here. I was not aware of that. I figured if he hasn't been served, why show up? He is correct, sir. We did never receive proof of service, but the adverse party showed up for the hearing. We wouldn't have a hearing, though, if there's not affidavit but the of service. the adverse party showed up. That's why we went forward, sir, because obviously the adverse uh -huh. party was served, but we didn't know that. Until My apologies, Mr. Kirk. Mr. Kohler, I said a lot of things at the last hearing that I want to retract. Because that's a whole different story. If he thought that he wasn't to appear um, because the service had not been executed, and that's not even within his hands, that's within the sheriff's hands to execute the service. So he was told, and we were told, that there was no service. So in which case, the case should have gone off. It shouldn't have been, on, shouldn't have been held. It shouldn't have been called, the hearing. But because you showed up, Somehow you found out some other way, the time and date, other than being served. served or, or now there was service, we're finding out. I think it's Kirk, Mr. Kirk said it turned out there was service. Um, so it's a mistake. We're, we're back to a, 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 they had served me an inadvertent exactly. mistake. What? They had served me exactly seven days before the court date. It was exactly the Right, but Mr. Kirk has just told me why, and because the clerk just told me the same thing, that both Mr. Kirk and the, clerk, the court uh, were under the impression that there was no valid service. If he was validly served seven days before, does that mean the Arrington Sheriff didn't tell us, right? Or well, didn't notify us? They won't submit it to us. Or the first thing I wanted, to, I wanted to say, I'm just trying to get to it, is that um, given everything that happened, that's why I jumped to get a restraining order. Uh, I've never had a problem with Mr. Kohler. In fact, he, as far as I can see, he's a good father, and that means a lot to me. Um, so I was really shocked when he said he was going to kill me and bury me in his front yard. But well, that wasn't that, recording, right? What if that is on recording? Did you say that? I, uh, if I did, Your Honor, I do not remember. Like I said, I uh, it was. It's I, recorded. I understand. So I, is it, was, it possible? It was recorded. Is without it possible? My acknowledgments, and literally, I had no idea that. Well, he was yeah, you can't record anything. on a phone without his consent. Especially when he was literally harassing her before I took the phone away. While right. both my children are sitting on couches in my living room, crying because he is harassing them. I Still doesn't give you a right her. to threaten him. I, I understand that, and I, 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 right. I told him Mr. I was Kirk, not threatening him. Federal law and state law, two-party consent, you cannot... In the recording, you, uh, I was not threatening him. I was asking him very nicely, repeatedly, to leave my wife oh, and Oh, so you do remember. I said... You do you, remember. I, I remember bits and pieces, but what I was the threat? everything. What was the threat? He said that I'm going to kill you. Kill you in the front yard. I never said that to anybody. He was clearly drunk. He, he yeah, never said that I to was anybody. Drunk, I was in my own residence. He's never I, said that to anybody. So if I hear it on the recording, it's your voice. It, like I said, if I did say it to him, it was out of literally spite. You just said you've never on. said it to anybody. I've never said that to anybody. But if I did, it was because I was under the. Both of you stand up, please. I don't like what I'm hearing. Raise your right hands. Do each of you saw me so the testimony brought to the court should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Yes, your honor. Have a seat. Mr. Kohler, you can't say, I've never said that to anybody, but if I did say it... I do not recall. Do you, do you see the inconsistency yes, in that? I do. You say that to me under oath, you're committing perjury. I understand that, sir. Now, what I'm asking, is it possible that this is on a recording that's possible. your voice? Yes. All right, then it's probably there. This evening. I just remember my children preaching. I don't care. It's a threat. You don't have a right to make a threat. Children. You I don't. I still don't have a right to threaten somebody. Mr. Kirk, With you don't have a right to record on somebody's phone call without their consent. In That's a I'm felony. I was in my vehicle, and it, it's always recording when I'm in my vehicle. You're not hearing me. Okay. Does he know? Did you tell him you're recording him? No. I then that's not I consent. Know. I don't care if it's always recording. That's not consent just because you happen to always be recording. You have to tell the person and actually get their consent. That's a felony. You've just committed a felony by recording his phone call. It's a Class D felony. Um... All right, so we got garbage all over the place, gentlemen. 
Now, Mr. Kirk, so that thread I believe you're probably going to be able to to prove up, even oh. though he gives me a pretty stern reason why he threatened you. Because you're bothering his kids. So, they're not your kids, right? No, and I was not harassing anybody. Alright, well what I'm getting at is, do you have any um, custody rights over these kids at all? Do you no. drive them to school? Do you do anything for the mother to help out? Anything like that? Not, not anymore, no. No. So why would you be doing anything to the kids that he could consider? That's, I did nothing to the children. His, his, his wife called me. Were you ever over there with the children? Yeah, we, we lived there. I uh, lived at the house with him. We helped, helped raise him for a time. With him and her? No. With his children. Oh, with them. With the you children. know what, all this being said. No, that's I'm past. Talking I'm talking about right. more not, currently. Not, 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 not. Yeah, I'm not going that. I'm not going that far. Being said, what I was trying to get at is that I, I don't want to proceed with the, the restraining order. I, uh, okay. At the time, due to the totality, like I was saying, with everything going on, I felt really threatened at that time. I had all sorts of people. There's like four or five restraining orders that took place all in one week. Everybody attacking me with vehicle damage. Someone trying to run at me with a vehicle and threatening me. He's going to kill me. So I jumped to, to restraining orders. At this time, with, with Mr. Kohler, I, I think he is a good, decent buff. Uh, I never had a problem with them up until that point. Nothing has happened since then. It's been over a month. So uh, I'm fine with uh, discontinuing the restraining. All right, Mr. Kohler, he's not seeking the extended protection order. I'm glad we had this hearing because I'm also not satisfied with what you told me 30 days ago, that everything that he said was false. He makes these things up. Because I believe if I listen to this recording, you probably said these things that he's willing to prove up here today. That like you said, don't remember that you may have said. I don't what? remember. I remember being upset over everything that was going on. Literally, she's in one bedroom. I have a 2,200 square foot house. I'm in the master bedroom on one end. She's at the complete other end. I can hear her yelling at him, please leave me alone. Please stop calling me. Okay, then, you get, then she gets a temporary protection order. You don't threaten him. I understand that, and I told her that's what she needed to do at that point. Then why did you threaten them? If I, you did, I honestly, Your Honor, I was at home. I was drinking. It was my Friday night. Okay. If I've you tell somebody you're going to kill them and bury them in the front time. yard, I will grant a protection order against you every time. Uh, I understand. So it's that. not false. All right. Well, that's why it's not false. That's what I'm telling you. Because that's what he said. You said, and it's probably on the recording, but it doesn't matter because you said you can't remember. So it's probably there. It doesn't matter. He's not seeking the extended protection order today. This is my wife. Legally, as it sits, literally, I will bury you in my fucking front yard, and there ain't nothing this state will ever fucking say about it. So, however you felt like I was there trying to hurt you and you were just trying to friend me, that's literally exactly how I felt. Is screaming coming from here? No. 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 Okay. Screaming? Screaming. That's that's literally how how I felt. Like we both felt the same way. Only I was completely sober. I was sober. Well, you did tell me that you had a drink. I had a couple of shots. I wasn't even drunk or fucking anything. I was completely sober. So like we're we were both in that same like like. And it, like I felt like if I let go of your hands while I was like trying to push you onto bed, like you were just gonna hit. So even if I wanted to leave, like, I can't just let go of you because you already broke my glasses. You already knocked the tooth out of my mouth, like. So, I mean, we were, I don't, I don't think you meant to hurt me, and I hope you don't think that I meant to hurt you. Like, we were just fighting, it's like, I just bailed you out of jail, and like, the second time, and then, you and I told you I gotta go bail out my. names and tell me I had to do this, this and that, and I said, Derek, I don't get paid for a week. I told you I'd give you money. And it I, it wasn't, when I got paid, and okay, you were like, I don't fuck, bitch. You're going to do that. If you like driving your car to work, you're going to do that. Otherwise, it won't be drivable. Or you better call somebody, you fucking dumb bitch. Like, all this shit. But you were I, fucking going off, and I didn't say shit to you. It, you knew okay, I was going to well, pay you. I didn't I knew, have money. I knew you didn't have, I knew you didn't have money. So, so why was it so you have to do money. this? Otherwise, I was going to fuck up your car. And this, I'm like, I don't, I don't because, have money. Because, like, I was hurting. Like, I felt like... For what? Because you felt like, because I fed you half my food on the way there. Like, I was I just a paid a thousand dollars. And I was going to pay you back. Like, come on. I didn't have okay, money, so let me Derek, and I appreciate saying, it. So, like, I, I got you out a second time. And that was, like, everything I had. And then, like, everything was cool. And then, like, uh, you know, my mom's still in the hospital. We're all, like, stressing hella bad. And, like, I, was, I had to see my car because 
I had to be to work like four hours and like after mom's in the hospital, you know. And then the next was like next night, like I get your car out or whatever. And and then like I found out like my ex was in jail for like three hundred dollars. I know you don't like her, but I'm like, that's fucked up to leave her in there for three hundred bucks. Like I'd come get you for three hundred fucking dollars and sit in there for a week, maybe a couple months for three hundred dollars. And I was like, I was honest with you. It's not like I'm fucking her. And I'm like, shit, you can ride in the car and you, you guys can fight if you want. I don't fucking care. But uh, I'll get her out of the jail, you know. And like, sure, sure. I could have like lied to you and be like, hey, I'm going to see my mom real quick. And like, uh, but I was truthful. And like, you tripped all the way out. You started punching me there in the fucking doorway. I did not. Derek, you did. You were completely. I tried to get in the. Your mom shower. saw you completely. My naked. mom will tell you that I told you to leave, and you was you would not leave, and you kept trying no, no, to come into the bathroom. Before. You this came to the bathroom before. even though I told you to leave repeatedly. And then you, I opened the door and you were still trying to come in. I was trying to push you out. I didn't know. Don't exaggerate on that because I told you to leave me the fuck alone and you wouldn't leave. You hit your own mom. I, I didn't hit my you. mom. Nice try. That's what. I that's didn't hit what, my mom. I that's care. what I didn't said. hit her. I didn't hit her. She fucking, she came at the door and was coming at me. I just pushed her and didn't hit her. She, my kids were scared. She kicked my kids out of the house. So think what you want there. But my kids I had to come back and get them because she kicked them out and they were sitting in my car. Like kicked them out, like yeah. Told them she to told them they had to get the fuck out of the house. Well, you so they were sitting mom? in the. She kicked my kids out of the car, bro. And then as I'm trying to leave the house, she's coming at me at the door, screaming at me, fucking whatever. So she came at the door, I tried to shut it. She wasn't, so I pushed her. I didn't hit her. Pushed her away from the door and I shut it. I didn't hit my mom. You know what? I mean, so look, right there, I, I should have done. I just wanted you not to fucking do. I I didn't do shit like that. I didn't. I didn't want to fight with you. Yeah, I was a little mad at you. I don't want to fight. Sure with you. Sure, shit. Didn't when you got out, you want to sit there and like. Do all this shit, like put a come there and fucking try to put a restraining order. Do all this crap. Well, like, I was trying to talk to you. Me and, you know, I was trying know. to talk to you, and then like all of a sudden, like you were calling me that night, and then like Lance says he's gonna fucking kill me and bury in his front yard where his kids play, and I have that on a recording. Lance is a fucking dumbass that says. And you were threatening me and shit too, and then my car just got smashed. I didn't threaten so, you. I said, Derek, I, you weren't. My car's just smashed. Okay, Mark said a week car. before that uh, that that he's gonna do something to me in my car. One week later, my car is smashed. That same night, uh, or a couple nights later, whatever it was, you said you're in Silver Springs, and then you're talking. I didn't even know there was somebody else in the room, and all of a sudden, I'm saying he uh, he's gonna, the hall he's gonna kill me and bury me in in his front yard in Silver Springs where his kids play. Lance doesn't even fight anybody but a girl. He's him. gonna bury he me. Just, in. So, so what shit. am I supposed to think here? And then here, you. Last thing I know, I mean, you never, still never apologize for like threatening me that you're gonna put me in prison for the rest of my life for some shit that you know that's not fucking true. And I would have never said that you did it, but I'm sure you weren't. I'm molesting there a child, dude. You serious? And you, I would never that's, have said it, but you were sitting there threatening you, me. You were saying, "I'm gonna tell this. I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm telling you this." Because I knew, I and know. So the then law. I said something to make so you I'm shut a, up. I'm like, Kaza, I'm gonna go to prison. I thought, okay. So I heard when I left that night, something told me. To turn on police radio, and I did, and here I heard Derek Kirk, uh, social security number, uh, address, and all this shit's being read out. I'm like, oh my god, I'm on. I'm sure you called the cops. And you so tried I, to get I tried to. And so I. You fucking tried no, wait a minute, wait a minute. So that night, I'm like, I'm the only thing I'm doing. I didn't, I didn't, to I didn't ever talk to the cops. To I didn't I ever talk. Go ahead, Derek. You legit tried to get me arrested more than once. You legit have gone and told because out of your way to make sure to try to get me out of your way to do it. Okay, because I just did a year in prison for something I didn't do. Yeah, you did. Do you think that I was there trying to hurt you? Do you think you would have left if you, I told you to? Because you didn't. Even when you're at the okay, door, but the you know I was end, living. I was living end, there full time. So what do I have to leave? And I end, did leave. I dropped you off. I, I dropped you off, and I, and I fucking like you didn't even know that I left for like an hour. I, I no, was just, I just wasn't trying to bug you because I figured I felt like you were in the. And you're like, room. really? Would you leave? Like, what are you going to see somebody? Like, you like, fucking your ex? Like, I didn't know why you were mad. What were you mad about? I didn't do nothing. That I felt like I just that I, night. I felt I don't know. I just I felt like I was trying. I was being nice. I fed you food. I didn't. While we were I felt driving, like I like your face you. was all red, and like whenever your face is red, I know you've been drinking or something like. So I have been drinking. I was at work. Or maybe your front frustrated or something I don't know but that that was the impression I got and I felt like like you didn't want to talk to me the whole time and like maybe I should have handled it differently like I didn't a lot of shit I'm I'm sorry for I you know I shouldn't have tripped out like that but like I, I like I was hurting and like I felt like and like okay so mind you it was a week before that where that incident in the shower whatever and like you like like kicked me and then punched me to get out of the shower and then took off drunk driving I'm like oh my god really dude you gonna? I just got you out of jail, and you go drive the car again. Like now, I'm like really mad. So like, I I left and I didn't talk to you for like a week, 
and then you're like half stalking me outside of my house like send me a picture like of my car and you're outside oh, and you're like what are you, you doing you said you wanted to see me uh, well, I have the text message and I have the photo. Yeah, and then I came by and took so, a picture and sent it to you because you said something prior to that. I, I, you were trying to message me and I didn't message back. And I remember you I just got off of work. So therefore I did that. It's not like I'm up there fucking nobody. My mom, you know my mom's in the, in the room, you know, so. You said you wanted to see me before that. That's why I did that. I don't remember saying that, but I don't you know. You did, so I didn't stop you. But, but I'm like, okay, hold on, I'll come down there. And like, we kind of made up and shit. And it was just the next morning. So like, it was still sore. It was still sore because like, I, you just hit me. And, like, I've never been hit by somebody in a relationship. And, like, I always tell my mom, like, because she's been in multiple marriages where, like, dude, like, beats the crap out of her and shit. And, like, I was always telling her, why would you fucking stay in a relationship if somebody fucking hit you, dude? Like, that's crazy. She's like, you just don't understand, you know? And, like, and like I was going through that myself. Like, oh, my God, I just got hit by a fucking woman that I fucking care about. Uh, I love and like you're, what the you're fuck you're remembering that one differently because I didn't hit you you, came you did you and you kicked me and then you hit me and then you pushed me in the shower like you, you kind of like it glanced on my chin dude like I can still okay. remember to say like you like gl like glanced on my chin after you kicked me mm -hmm. and you're like butt ass naked and your yeah, mom's you like looking at you that doesn't mean that you gotta hit me you had to break into the bathroom even though I'm telling you to leave me alone okay I should and I'm trying to tell you to leave and I'm pushing you out okay I mean you're right I should have just I, I should I, sh I should have just out. left, but like, just pushing me out. I didn't hate no, you kicked me. You used your foot and hit me in the side. Of like, do you remember that? I remember kick, kick pushing you out the door. You remember kicking me? Tell you to get out and like you used the, the bottom of your foot to kick me in the but stomach. I remember you wouldn't leave, and you were so persistent on being such a dick and fighting with me. And I was like, just fucking leave, Derek. I'm not doing that. And you wanted to come in the bathroom. You know, I said leave. I mean, you're right. I should have left, um, but that doesn't mean you I gotta kick you. me. I didn't. Why are you breaking into the bathroom and coming at me? You should have just left. I'm not saying that was right either, but I'm saying you can't sit there and act like I just I blatantly came out of nowhere and attacked you and you're the one coming into where I am, trying to be away from you, trying to tell you to leave and you have to break into where I am. Like, don't act like it was like you were my well, after, business. Well, after working like 14 hours and I get off and then like, you know, like we're immediately fighting over something because I say like, hey, my ex is in jail and like I'm honest that wasn't with you. That one I felt like I was honest with you. I never you. showered like, after that ex one. I just ended up leaving. That wasn't the same. I remember you left. That was a and different then, night. And then you, I know you were drinking, so it's like. That was a different night. Yeah, it was just. Because you already wanted to lie to me about her anyways. You already blatantly you hid conversations, let her talk shit about me, so it was obviously what it was. I mean, you gave no fucks about like how anybody would talk about me. So, uh, I mean, that's not true. Like, I, I'm just trying to like keep the peace and just like kind of like distance myself from her when she's doing that because I really did care about you and no I wasn't right like I should have done a lot of things different and, and I'm sorry and I'm sorry too and it means a lot I'm just saying that you know? so I felt like sitting there in prison the whole year like that's all that's all I wanted like I did say I'm sorry. But I felt like it was like a barely like a half ass like it was like, you know, no. like I'm like and, and, and mind you like it's different when it's in a letter and it's like I can't actually talk to you on the phone. And the phones are just a piece of crap, like you can barely understand a word that anybody's saying. Like if Doug's talking, it's like rah, 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 rah. you you really can't understand anything. It's not very articulate in the way he talks anyway. That prison phones are all garbage, people banging on the walls with them and drool on them and all kinds of shit, so. Like, I, I for sure went in there just because I was, like, mad, and I'm like, really, like, you don't want to, like, uh, somebody's out there screaming, huh? Uh, nurse came over here, is like, hey, is that screaming come from here? I'm like, screaming. Yeah, it's scary, it screaming. <laughs> really, you? No, she thought that there was somebody screaming. She came and opened the door and she screamed. Running down the hall, maybe that way. Oh. They were running that way. Running, one more. I'm going to Something happened out there. She asked if the scream was coming. <sighs> Who knows? I didn't hear no screaming. I'm like, I, I don't know if you, if you can understand at all why I would be mad. Like, I mean, I guess it didn't really make all that much sense, like, why I was so mad, like, I mean, it's just because I was already, like, a sore subject, and, like, we barely made up, and then, like, that, that night where you came 
text a picture of my car, whatever. I'm like, hold on, I just I got off work and I haven't showered yet, so I like, showered real quick and came down there and we we're talking and like kind of made up and then like I, I, I you, like went back to your house and then like you had to go to bed and I think that was like your, if I remember right, that was your first day you had to go back to work after like they kicked you out for ten days because like you told me you were sick too many times or something. It like, like, oh, it's time. COVID. Uh, it was one time and it was the. I thought it was at least a couple. I don't know. No, that was because the like, time I got kicked. I, got, I think that was I the time I called. Because it was, like, it was a, a, a thing that had to do with COVID. That was a related right. symptom. So, so, that, so I think that was your first day back. So, like, I understand you're going through it too. And it's like they just fucked up your paycheck. And, like, that was your first day back. And, like. And I was, my check was coming in another week. And I told you Well, that. for 10 days not working, like, I mean. Yeah, that's gonna hurt your money. Not worth ten fucking days. But I still was gonna give you money when I got paid. No, 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 no. That was before that. Like, case of like, I swear, it didn't have nothing to do with money because that's I know you didn't have money. That's all. That's all you were saying. In the I know, but that's okay, it. okay, I know, I know, I was case but that's understand. It really wasn't about money. Like, I can go to my boss to get money. She just handed me five hundred cash when I had to go get my car out of jail last week. But I'm just saying, that's all you she were just saying. handed me 500. That's all you were saying. But though. that's not okay. But please understand that that like where I'm coming from, that that's not at all in my mind. Like I don't fucking care about it. Like, I mean, yeah, I was upset about it, but like I'm not that desperate. Like I spent a thousand to get you and your car out, and that's then all you were and saying. then and then when you kept the kids an extra day, and you're like, oh well, Lance is busy with a customer right now. I'm like, well shit, you only got like a day there with the kids. Let's go uh, to FunQuest over here, and I got another 60 bucks, and like it was like my last couple dollars. But I'm like, and you're like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, uh, let's do something fun with the kids. Like, I enjoyed, like, kind of playing dad with them. And then we did. And and, and we didn't really get to spend that much time anyway. It was kind of a bummer because then all of a sudden we had to show up. That's all you were saying in the text messages. But, days. okay, but I know, I know. But it's like, I was like, felt like you just didn't appreciate me at, at the time. And, okay, at this point, like, in hindsight, it, okay, it was kind of stupid. But, because uh, I understand you were going through hella stress. Like, we thought dad wasn't going to get parole because... His friend was just saying that he, he, uh, and you found this out before I did. Like, I just woke up in the morning after mom went to the hospital. You know, I remember I had to go yeah, and sleep my car. Dad, and dad got fired and all that shit. And, and, by the t and then I wake up like six in the morning or whatever and looking at my alarm. Like, I hurry up to get to work. I'm like, hey, Derek, I'm getting arrested. I'm going to jail. And I'm like, kind of call you. Like, what the fuck? And I look up and your car's gone. I'm like, oh, fuck. And that was like four o'clock in message. So I'm like, oh, fuck. So I call him. Or I look on online real quick. Yep, there's your picture. And the first thing I saw is, oh my gosh, she's been drinking. I can see it in your face because I, I know what you're drinking. And and I see there's no DUI. I'm like, oh thank God. I don't think um, I but why is there no bail? Like what the fuck? Like so I'm like, okay, the kids are in there. I got to be working an hour. I'm hella tired because I only got like five hours of sleep. Not even that. And it was you know I was working hella overtime days, crazy as fuck, like thirty hours, in three days type, less than that. 36 hours three fucking days and, and so I'm tired as fuck and you're in jail so I'm stressed and like the kids are in their sleep and Beck was there I'm like Beck I wake up it's like huh what what, what do you want I'm like kids in fucking jail can you watch the kids today so here's okay so please don't be mad at fucking Beck dude, because like for real life she was trying to help I could do whatever I wanted that day. Okay. All right. She well, wanted to say what she said to me. She wanted to do what she did. I, I don't know. I don't know the whole about story. What she ran her mouth about. Oh, I don't know the whole story. So you can so. go be friends with her all you want, but she ran her mouth to me, and so she she that's how that goes. And then she ran her mouth about me. I don't. I don't her. know the whole story. So uh, okay, I'll leave that alone. Then. But but like that day, she really was. I mean, at some point, you guys were really good fucking friends. Did you guys have like She's matching fake. tattoos or something? She's fake. She's fake. She lies. All right. She'll sit there. And that's why she ran her mouth and wasn't talking shit about me the whole time. So all she did was run them out, make sure any chance she got. Well, she took care of your kids that day, and she was doing like arts and crafts and shit. She left. She left. No, she was definitely there all day long. And then at eight o'clock when she I got back, she was still there when I when I answered the phone for you. Like I remember, I had to, I was on the phone tripping with him. I still have the video. I was in there tripping on the front desk, like, dude, that's an Eighth Amendment violation and shit. How can you not give somebody bail? It's a fucking traffic thing. It's like, well, she's got a warrant uh, for not failure to appear for like the same thing at another court. I'm like, okay, it's three hundred dollars cash. Well, it's three thousand, but they said we'll take. 10% cash to 300 and you'll get that back, which I did not get that back because you had a 600 and something dollar fine and they took that out and now you still on 300 on that case. They just took Doug's money. I found out in, in Virginia City they took that money and you still owe money for them. No, I don't. You do. She said she'd write it off. I talked to her. She said, say this. And I talked guilty. to them too and they said that. Well, then she said, say, uh, they you changed do whatever. No, nope, she told me that. She told me on the phone. She well, said, I don't know. We're getting mixed. And, and then we'll write off that next 100 or whatever. There's like a little more. She's like, we'll uh, write it off. Okay. I talked to the bitch. She wrote, she said, well, I didn't get that 300 back either, but 
But, um, so, I'm getting out of prison, I really can use that. But, um, uh, anyway, so, When are they gonna let you out of here? When are you okay? They don't. They don't know. They're still talking about like I, like sepsis. Like it's it's really bad. My lungs are infected. Got liquid on them. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna... Okay. Hi. Hi. My name's Hello. Arabella. I'm gonna be your nurse tonight. Okay. okay. They're leaving. It's already shit. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Well, enjoy yourself. your night. Drive safe. I don't know if it's snowing or yeah. not. Yeah. I think it's raining. Just like non stop a really bad storm. Yeah, I know. There, just let me know if you need anything, okay? All right. And I'll be I'll be back shortly. I'm just saying hi to my patients right now. Okay. Are you keeping this? Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm working feeling, on it. Feeling sick right now, so yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let me know I'll if you need it, it like heat it up later, okay? Okay, I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. I'm talking about when they're letting you out. So, we're talking about you're still sick. Well, that's how I'm doing right now. I, 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 I,